Hello, it's Sarah. And I've been wanting to do um, an updated Zen Den tour for you guys because I've been collecting plants. So I changed this room from kind of the game room where the kids used to play video games to a little quiet space for me to just veg out, and I do. And I left the floor open so I, ha I don't have a coffee table yet. And I do still think I'm gonna replace this couch. This couch is, I got it at um, Odd Jobs or Odd Big Lots. Um, but I wanted a Chase. I still think I want one, but I'm gonna wait. And when I find the exact couch I want, I'm gonna get it. Um, but yeah, I had free range. And so I created this little mini jungle and I picked, it's about three in the afternoon in South Jersey. It's overcast, but I thought the lighting wouldn't be too bad. We shall see. So I want to start over here in this corner. I have my Monstera there, a um, Aglaonema, my Lemon Lime Aranta, and down there is a little Fetonia. And I like this corner. He's been over here for a while. I've got lots, several new leaves. Probably got him at Walmart in the very beginning, and um, I think it's a super tropical looking plant. I don't have very many big ones. I have this one and then a big um, peace lily up in my room, and that's probably, this is the definitely the biggest one. Oh no, no, I have a bird of paradise in the other room too. Anywho, he's, they're easy to grow. So this is also about very much easy to grow plants, things that have not given me any problems that I really enjoy. The, the aglaonemas, which are known as Chinese evergreens as well, I have three of these different versions of them. And what I think I'm doing now is really, when I find one that, that is good to me, I get a lot of that type of plant, but different um, kind of coloration and stuff. Look at the pink stems on that. So pretty. This one's called the ruby, I believe. Um, I put the Fetonia here too because again it has like pink veins. This one's a little more picky of a plant like he just when he's thirsty you know it. He really just he'll like mm, he'll keel over and then you just water him and he comes back. So he's definitely a good one. I mean he's he's not giving me any trouble. He's over here in this corner. All of those I mean the, it is a south facing window but it's not bright bright in here. Um, and then the Maranta I just, these are called prayer plants, and I fell in love with my red Maranta, which is over there. Um, and I just, I have three different ones now. So like I said, it's one of those things where if it does okay for me, I just get a couple more in different colors and variations. Um, <clears throat> look, he's got like two new leaves coming right here. Um, I think that one, there's a new one here. So anyway, I made that uh, macrame too. That's like a green twine or jute rope. Um, so that's my corner there and that mirror I did not make this. This is a piece of art that I got at a craft fair. Um, his name is James Kirk. James, Captain James T. Kirk. But anyway, um, let's go. That's my craft room and then I want to do this was I think you guys saw a wicker type shelving unit thing and I got this one because I wanted to be able to clip my my grow lights on there. So this is the only grow light I have because it's kind of like the nursery. I consider that the nursery. If I have someone who's being a little fussy, I have three different um, propagations that I that are doing pretty good. This is just a your standard um, spider plant babies that I filled that pot with. This is this was at least five or six different pieces from that Shaflera that I did a video about a long time ago. And two of them took, the other ones did not. So out of all the lopping off I did, I got two good ones and there's lots of new growth on these. So um, they can be propagated. So that'll be, it's just a little two stalk plant, but I like it that I kind of started that. And then this is a propagation from my red Maranta. And I cut off all of the bigger leaves that I started with. And these are all brand new babies. And these, I had my Marantas in the window for a long time. 
and they just didn't like it and I didn't I didn't realize but look this one is the red Maranta I have a new growth here I've propagated a lot of him so I've cut him up a little bit but it's such a cool plant I would like to get a bigger one and put it in a hanging basket like I have the lemon lime but for now he just kind of sits in here because he needed to be out of the window and I just decided to put them over here here's my um they call this a rabbit's foot one, I think. Same prayer plant type plant. So again, I have three different versions of it. And then up here, this is a lipstick plant and it is not doing anything for me. It's, it's not dying, but it's not growing. It's just a lot of it has died and I keep, I just keep it up here and it's, I don't think it likes it and that's okay with me. I tried it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But um, none of my Hoyas uh, stayed. I killed, I think, two different Hoyas that I tried. Um, and they just didn't, they don't like it here. So they went on to different, to greener pastures. This is a an um, philodendron brandianum. And I just loved the silver on these leaves. So... I've had the, here's the regular philodendron, right? This is just a heart-shaped philodendron, the one your mom had, the one that's been, a, you know, around forever. You can't kill these things. They're very hardy, you know, and I love them. I love that they trail. They're so amazing and, you know, easy care. So I, again, I have a lot of different variations of philodendrons. This is one, and she's just starting to, do something for me. I have a couple things going on here, but man, this has taken me forever. I got it at Lowe's and it really just hasn't. I think these are all, these are new, but they're coming up so tiny. And so I probably need to learn more about these. This is new over here, but very weird. Um, and I have another one of these that I just got that was a much bigger basket. So I'm hoping it'll do better for me, but I mean, from this angle, it looks pretty good. So that's that. Um, on this table, I have a good old pothos, because you can't go wrong with a pothos, and I have a lot of different variations of those too. Um, you can't kill these things. I mean, you can. But I've propagated them a lot, and this is probably a golden pothos, I want to say. Um, this is called a money tree. Let me come back. He's gone crazy. I, I sits all the way over here away from the window and all of the top of this is new. I've had no problems with it. It doesn't even lose leaves. He just likes it here and he's happy. So I've, I've looked at his roots a lot because look at that tiny little pot. But he's fine in there. He seems fine. So that was just a trier and he's happy. So I'm happy too. <laughs> and this one is... What do they call this again? It's a it's a form of monstera, so another vining tropical with the fenestrations. I want to say it's a, our our it's an A word, and I just put this um, pole in here, and I think you're supposed to keep them damp, but what happens in in nature is they vine up trees so they try to find the light in the rainforest you know they start out on the ground but they find their way up so they'll grab onto trees and they'll grow up so that's the idea and then the leaves will get bigger as they go toward the light now this i think was a hanging basket and i just had this little um I got that and I just put him in there and he's been there for a while and he's he seems to be doing fine he's not going crazy or anything but I have some new growth and you know I like him I can't think of the name of it though anywho uh, this is my little rock collection I was gonna um, I, I get the uh, monthly what is it called mindful souls and I a lot of this stuff is from there but I think I'm stopping. It's been a year that I've been getting that, and I think I'm stopping, and I might pick another one this year. I have, this is called an arrowhead plant. Let me see what the actual, Berry Illusion Arrowhead, Syngonium. Syngoniums, again, another very easygoing, 
no worries type plant and I'm here for you. I love it. <laughs> There's lots of different um, ones of these, bigger ones, smaller ones, different colors. This is the only one I have, um, but I love them. This is a new to my collection, Scandapsis Exotica. Um, I just got this at the nursery. They had them. I, I've had this Scandapsis. This is the Argyris um, for a while, for, from the, and he's really starting to um, trail. I also clipped them a bit and I'm propagating them. So we'll see how that goes because he was a little leggy, like there weren't leaves. Um, see how it's like, it skipped a node. Like there's one, two, skips two nodes without giving me a, a leaf at the node. So I don't know what that's about, but I love them. They're just very cool. Again, they have that silvery colored leaf. Um, and I want to say they're in the Pothos family. I don't think they are. I think they're a totally different family of, of um, plant, but they're very similar. They grow similar. They have thickish leaves. They're just gorge. I want, an, I want a big one of these. I want a hanging plant of that. And this is my Trubii, which is a very, again, in the same, um, same type of plant. It's a trailing. See how, like, it just goes and... It's a little more blue, uh, green, silver, let's see, sterling silver, Scandapsis trubii. So again, this is a Scandapsis, this is a Scandapsis, and this is a, so I have three different versions of that same type of plant. So, oh, sorry, my filming is bad. Uh, up here I have, this is one of my older plants that I didn't even really give much thought to. Uh, um, this is a Philodendron Brazil and I kind of ignored it. It's been around forever, and now I've started to like pay attention to him. I gave him a haircut. He's starting to push new growth from the top. I'm very happy because he's been around forever, forever, and I never paid much attention to him, but I do now. Anywho, that is a Bonnie spider plant. So I have three different spider plants. This is called the Bonnie. It's curly. It's new-ish, and when I say new, it's just under, it's a year, it's this year. Most of these are within the last year that I've bought them. Um, and so no babies yet, um, just hanging out and no problems, no worries with that. Um, my only fern, this is called a bird's nest fern, and I have no issues with it. It likes being on the wall, it's fine, and I like it. It's different. It's green. It's curly. I like it. Um, and then my neon pothos. I love him and I can't wait till he starts trailing. Um, the color is so gorge. It's just that nice lime color green. But again, a pothos, you can't kill these things. I mean, I say that. They're super hard to, to kill. I mean, you really have to neglect it. Um, purple waffle. It's a very common plant. You will find these at um, Lowe's and um, right now you could go there and you'll find a purple waffle. He's a little crusty. I'm going to have to pull off a couple of his drier leaves. And, and I mean, he's probably not in the best spot. I've moved him around a little bit, but again, he's one that will, he'll just boo, keel over when he's thirsty and then you feed him and he's, and you give him water and he's fine. My second Scandapsis aruleus, or whatever you want to call it, or uh, 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 I don't know, came in this pot and I put it in a hanger and I love it, love it, love it. Just hung them there the other day. This is called a Cebu Blue and it is an Araceae, Cebu Blue Araceae. Got it at Walmart. Um, I had just seen a video of one of these and I snapped, I think it was $12, put it in a hanger, and he's doing fantastic. Again, I think he wants to trail upwards because they reach for the light, and um, so I just kind of wound one of them up around the hanger there, and I just love him. He's a little bit different shape. I know that I'm filming terrible. There we go. Different shape to it, a, a little bit more delicate, I would say, and a little bit of a blue hue as well to the green. No, no variegation or anything like that, but I like him a lot. 
my classic spider. Everybody, my mom used to have spiders. He's in another macrame, and I've propagated lots of those babies. I have a Dracaena. No, wait a minute. Is this a dumb cane? Let me see what I... Um, I have I have little cheat sheets here. Let's see. Yeah, dumb cane. Oh, a Diffenbachia. Diffenbachia is the name for dumb cane, and that they call it dumb cane because you can, if you ingest this, I think it numbs out your vocal cords. That's what I read about it. So um, I won't be eating it. And my, luckily, my dogs and the birds stay away from it. But I really like this variegation on these leaves, and these will get large. I don't know if it's in the best spot, but it's been doing great. It's given me new growth, and it's a little dusty. Um, but I've moved them around a little bit. I'm trying to go fast because um, I don't want to take too long. Um, Anthurium. This is the one that you guys would know with that red flower that comes up. It's like a red waxy looking flower with a yellow thing in the center and he hasn't bloomed again since he since it bloomed away but I just moved all of these over to this window because I my man my, my um, Marantas were there and they were not doing good and these are sun loving plants this is the um, I think it's called a burgundy um, rubber tree. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about ants. And then this is another, a similar, again, another variety of that. And this is called um, Taneki, I think. But look, it looks like it's, let me try to, it's camo. I couldn't resist. I got this at Walmart. And it, neither of these have done anything for me. But I watch videos about them and they definitely will grow. So again, I think it's a case of they need to establish a good root system and then they'll grow. And maybe they wanted more light and I wasn't providing that. So this is a new one. This one's called Prince of Orange, another philodendron, believe it or not. Um, it's not a vining kind. He kind of stands up straight, but I just thought he was so cool. He's new to the fam. Um, this is a philodendron. Um, Birkin and he's put out lots of this is all new growth here comes another new growth but like one two three four this one's done really well for me one of my first ones because I think when I first started collecting this one would have been considered a rare and then and everybody was looking for them so I think they were very available it just was my timing but um so I got one, and again, a philodendron. He doesn't ask for much, and he's just pretty happy. Um, this is a philodendron um, golden goddess. So again, the same thing. I think I have the most, the, the most different varieties of philodendrons. That's what I would think. Um, but this is the golden goddess, and um, doing great. Again, no issues. Um, all this is new growth. I don't know if this is going to trail, like want to come out of the pot, because um, it was little when I got it. And um, let's see, new growth here. Yeah, I just love it. Um, two different other pothos here. This is called Pearls and Jade. And it's got this cool um, variegation. This one is very similar, but it's different. And it's called the Manjula pothos. And I think it's just got a bigger leaf. Um, really both of them are just starting to, to grow. So I think a lot of times we get these plants at the big box stores and they've only just recently been, been potted up. You know, they were propagations and their root system isn't super strong so they don't give you a lot of growth for a minute. But, but once it starts, look here, something unfurling here, um, it's starting to vine out. So I may raise that up soon, but this too. Um, didn't do anything for a really long time, but now I'm starting to notice that it's starting to wake up and come to life. So, um, but I love these. This is a really big leaf back here. Anyway, um, all right, so that's that. We did this. This is my croton. I gave in to the croton in October. Um, they were all over the place, and I was like, might as well. I loved the orange color, but this new leaf is green. And I think it can revert back to green if it doesn't get enough sun. So that's why he's over here in the window. 
Um, so I'm hoping it keeps, I love the color. I love when um, you can buy foliage that has different colors other than green. Um, another philodendron, just, I just love them. And this like probably was like four bucks for that. So, and it'll get so big. Uh, aloe, and I think I wanna get a couple other aloes. And this is my Christmas cactus, and last year it was fully bloomed at this time, and right now I have one little bloom right there, and that's all I have. But um, I've had this for a very long time, and it keeps, keeps on going. This one's called a Hawaiian spider, and I just got this, but man, I had never heard of such a thing, but I loved the difference. It's like a much wider leaf, and then the variegated babies so the very the babies are two-tone the mama is well she's a little two-tone too but she's mostly dark green and I just I don't know if you guys can tell she is gorge I really just loved her so I had to get her and so now I have three different spiders <clears throat> down here we have oh what are they called my peperomias I have three of those and they don't they're not doing great great for me this is the watermelon peperomia for obvious reasons, and it does fairly well. I haven't had a lot of issues at all, but this guy, I it's grown quite a bit. It just it doesn't look great, but he's really growing. It was so tiny when I first got it um, because I got it for a terrarium project that I was doing with Maya, and he ended up in this little pot and. He's, he's, he's doing his thing, whatever, I don't know. Um, not real invested in him, but he's there. Uh, this is called a Pilea, I think. And again, something about the silvery leaves, I really just like. I like when a plant has a little bit of something going on. Um, and he's been in this little camel dude, or a llama, right? For a long time. These aren't doing much. This little part really hasn't budged. Um, but it's starting to make some moves, I've noticed, so um, just being patient. This has been a really fun hobby for me to, to get into. This one's called Something of India, and it is a Dracaena. This is a Dracaena Song of India. Can't, I mean, he's been with me a while, and he's starting to, he's starting to come, he's waking up, and he's coming to life, but he's gorge. Look at that. It's like light green with a dark green stripe with white like really cool and i think that's it i think that's it oh one more thing these four let me back up plants on the wall i have um i did not know what i was doing with that wall i got the big mandala and i happened to see these things anyway i love it now but these were propagations this was literally from the big pothos in the other room. I'll show you. I propagated these, so I cut off pieces of it, put it in water, and it grows roots, and then I planted them up. I potted them up in those hanging, and there's no drainage holes, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but those are live plants. They're living. They're living their best life. Um, and that is everybody in here, so. I hope that was was good and it wasn't too fast. Um, I have a couple others in here, but um, another Dracaena, another Peperomia. Um, this is my, I'll turn on the light over here. It's my, another, um, this is the Red Siam Al Aglaonema. Um, again, those pink stems. It's not as bright red. You know what, I should put them side to side, but the other one, the ruby, has wider leaves, I think. But I just love those pink stems. I mean, they're so different, right? So that's where my little aglaonema sits there. And then one more thing, my other, this is my silver bay aglaonema right here in my little wizard, or genie. So this is called a silver bay aglaonema. And he's starting to give me growth too now. Um, hasn't done much, but he's, again, he's not, he's like in the middle of the house. There are no windows, so that, basically that lamp is the only thing that gets him um, any light. Same, look at this, Pothos. 
this is not bright over here. I mean, that's it. Look, there's no windows and he does great. So that's why I'm saying like, um, don't be afraid to try, especially Pothos, um, what's the, a philodendrons. This is a snake plant. I think I need to water him too. But um, I went ahead and got a snake plant. I was like, I'm getting one. And again, he's in the middle of nowhere, no light, just sitting there living his best life, I think. I don't know. He's probably not his best life. <laughs> These are the huge pothos that I've um, propagated from a bunch of times. I have another um, dumb cane here. So a Diffenbachia, I think they're called. Um, and I just love the color of the leaves. Uh, this is my other brandy, um, Philodendron Brantianum. I just got her. This was the one I was saying in the very beginning. Um, I loved, but she did nothing for me, but this one's got a little bit fuller pot, so I'm hoping that it'll um, take off faster. Um, a couple of orchids that aren't blooming at the moment. Some more snake plants. Um, I don't know. I think that's called a bear claw, and this is another type of peperomia. There's kiwi. And more pothos. Pothos. And this is the one, this is my um, Schifflera that I lopped off. But he's got growth coming up. He's doing good. See all that bright yellow? That's new growth. And that's the one I propagated from. This is my uh, Bird of Paradise, giving me lots of new leaves. I think at least three. One, two, maybe two. Or that other one could be a new one too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then down here, I have a gorgeous, uh, I think this is something queen. Something queen, let's see. Marble queen. So it's a lot more light green and it's marbly um, variegation. And a regular, I would say, this might not be a regular pothos, it's probably a, um, let's see what this says. A golden, golden pothos. I think you can tell because the, it has these little gold variegation marks. And I, I'm assuming if it was in the window or more closer to light, which it's kind of, like I said, it's like almost four o'clock here. So um, it's kind of getting darker. Um, but more light makes the propagation better. Um, so that is my plant fam. And I love, oh, I got this guy, my bird of paradise. And this usually sits on the um, table, but I got my, um, do you know that poinsettia is a tropical plant and that it takes a lot of work to get these to turn red and that people just like them for the holidays for their redness, but it's, I haven't had one before. Well, probably in, I have, but I never usually get them. But this was $6 and I thought I wanna get it and we'll see what happens, but it's starting to fall apart already. Like these little middle things are falling off. Like, look, there's none on this one. I don't know why. Let me see. Oh, that seemed pretty good. Anyway, I just put it out for the holidays, which we haven't even put our tree up yet. Um, and then I have some orchids over here. They're starting to rebud for me. So they're doing good. This guy has no roots. Oh, sorry. have up in the sink but this one's starting to rebud and that is it all right so I think um who knows if I'll post this because it's quite it's all over the place but the lighting's terrible all right you guys and I I have this wonderful humidifier I had I haven't had it on for a while I'm gonna turn off the ceiling fan oh look at my little bling ceiling fan pulls. I got these on Amazon and you know, they did, they belong in a Zen Den, don't you think? Everything. I love it. It's so cute. But, um, yeah, so that's my humidifier and you know, I'm doing, I'm doing my best to help out my little, um, tropical friends. And that's my little reading spot. And that's my 
my rocks I collect and that's about it so this is the Zen Den you guys alright that's it thanks for watching